This is the video on post-production processing tips. We'll go through molding it to your face, sealing it, sanding or foam, and then wearing it over a surgical mask or polypropylene layer of material. These are non-approved last resort masks. Our goal is to make the best mask we can, but offer no guarantee of efficacy. Use completely at your own risk, and do not use if you still have any other masks available. Please see Thingiverse for version 2. It has a deeper area for your nose, uses less material, prints faster, and has two strap attachment points, among a few other changes. Okay, let's go over how to mold these masks to your face. Hot water. Submerge for five seconds. Be careful not to burn yourself. Now I'm just pressing the nose in and holding it there like you mold a mouth guard. Seal. This one takes 20 minutes to one hour to be dry to touch and then 24 hours to be completely done drying. I think that this, also at the price point of $10, might be the way to go um, for one or two layers of sealant. The stores ran out of acrylic. We're now experimenting with this. I'm only going to put this on the outside. This is what you want, an organic fume paint respirator. They're sold out at Home Depot. Luckily I have a breeze and I'm standing upwind. So far these have been 48 hours and the odor is now extremely faint. We'll probably let them go a few more days before we package them and ship them. This, fold it over or use two separate pieces for two layers. That's Hold that in place for a few seconds till the glue hardens. If the frame holds it right up to the edges, that should be good. Otherwise, you can seal around the edges. If there's any gaps, you can push the material from here once you've installed the filter and make sure it's right along the edges. It significantly helps comfort to sand the inside of the nose as well as the interior. Simple weather stripping from Home Depot and put it over the edge and with this we were able to get various face shapes to pass fit testing. Awesome. The exact foam is this, Armaflex TAP18230. This is another option pointed out to me by Officer Mills from the Milford PD. He's making these and sending them to Montefiore. You can make 16 masks from one roll of this on Amazon. So you cut lengthwise, measure ahead of time. And this material is about 12 or $13. Dr. Gill is going to show us how you install the Armaflex around the edge. So if you carefully follow the contour of the and then you can go around the edge and carefully fold down and press. You want to line those up perfectly or even slightly overlapped so you don't have an air gap there. This will help to both boost the filtration capacity and add comfort. This is one layer of a blue polypropylene material. This one is halyard. So if you put it at a bit of an angle, it'll get in the way of your eyes less. You can have the corner in your nose, and now it wraps around and isn't in your eyes. It's fully sealed, I have a good, good breathability with no air leaks. Dr. Ali put Velcro circles on the inside and now have to re-center it on his face when he put it on again. Mark horizontally by 7 and 1 quarter inch cuts and vertically by 8 and 3 quarter inch cuts. This gives you 6 and 5 squares for a total of 30. It's 2 ply material. We cut 6 plies at a time. You're going to take off the cardboard. You're going to end up with a sheet that looks like this. Push it back together. You'll be able to go along the whole line. You want it to be about 4 layers here. And only because this is the first row, you're going to cut off into the middle. So you'll cut here. And there you have the inside of your filter. Why did they have to go by the middle? A tiny seal of silicone just around the crack to make a temporary seal fold it in place and also make sure there's no air leaks. The layers are looking good, like in this section, and the sprayable acrylic is enough. But if you're having any separation here, we actually think that taking silicone and painting or spreading it on with a gloved finger and sealing all this up is your best bet. I mean, it's totally green. Solar panels. Yeah. This is ABA PGT in Manchester, Connecticut. They're injection molding the filter boxes for us thousands at a time, helping us redesign them to have a press fit mechanism without glue. And with their permission, I'm going to film a little bit of footage of kind of what's going on inside this building. This company's been here for 75 years, and they're the first company in North America to mold a nylon gear. They do precision gearing. While well, the machine's going, the size of the tool just to make this part, that's our filter box, 
A lot goes into injection molding. Creating the holes for the knockout pins that pushes the injection molded part out. It goes through and actually cuts the metal. These will come forward, knock the part out, and go back. Look at these. They can make one every 30 seconds of these. We've got a UV light sterilization box that's on loan to us from Goodman College. Thank you so much. And here's one that our residents built. This is Pete. He flew masks up to us that he'd 3D printed with a friend. Thank you to Mystic Knowing Library, the Gross Family, and Salem Library for loaning us printers. Thank you to Everett for massively assisting in redesigning version 2. It has been a pleasure collaborating with the original creator of the files that I started with for my mask. This is David from Slovenia. He's also making the Gladius Heroes now that uses a ventilator filter for really high levels of filtration over 99.99% with a good seal at 5 bars of pressure. And finally, thanks to all the residents, attendings, nurses, administration, friends, GoFundMe donors, Boy Scouts, robotics teams, firefighters, and everyone else who supported this project. <laughs> She's got me all tied up here. <laughs>